Hey guys, today Apple released iOS 26.1 RC or release candidate to developers and soon to public beta testers. For developers in what is now a weekly release, and there are actually quite a few changes in this version, which we'll take a closer look at in this video. And if you're interested in videos like this one about the new iOS beta version, then my channel is exactly the right one for you. So feel free to subscribe now, and you won't miss any more similar videos in the future. Let's start the video. So, starting off with the size of this update, and you'll also notice, by the way, that it does say release candidate right here. Sometimes it does not say anything. It just says iOS 26.1. So, an interesting note that I thought I would mention, but anyways, the size of this update came in at around 8.5 GB on my iPhone 16 Pro Max coming from the previous build, which was beta 4. So, let's check out the new build number for this update. So, we go into our settings general about. The new build is 23B82. That will likely be the build of the final release. If it's not, we will have a slight change, maybe B83 or B84 instead. We'll have to wait and see when that final version comes out. But as far as the modem firmware for the iPhone 16 or 17 series, now along with this release we also got the RC version for iPad OS 26.1, Watch OS 26.1, Mac OS Tahoe 26.1, TV OS and Audio OS 26.1, along with Vision OS 26.1. But of course, like always, we are talking about iOS 26.1 RC in this video. All right, so now what's new here in iOS 26.1 RC? And the first thing you might notice when you actually get this software updates in your settings is that there is no change log. Typically with the RC release, we'll have a more info button down here that will allow us to see the full change log from Apple about what has changed in this update. And the first thing I want to mention has to do with the music application, and that is that the auto mix feature now works over AirPlay. Okay, so if you have the auto mix feature turned on where of course it turns your iPhone essentially into a mobile DJ, like your own personal DJ with auto mix that now works over AirPlay. But of course, easily one of the biggest changes in iOS 26.1 is going to be inside of our settings. If we go into the display and brightness section, we have liquid glass. So this is a brand new toggle where you can choose your preferred look for liquid glass, whether that's clear or tinted, more of like a frosted glass. You can also see this very good inside the music application when you're scrolling right here, and also with notifications on your, you know, notification center right here you can see a big difference in how those bubbles appear. So that right there is the clear version. But if I go to tinted, you can see how these look. It's a very different look when you go the tinted route with liquid glass. So some people might prefer this. And now you have the option to change that. Another new feature in iOS 26.1 that seems to have been improved with the RC build is inside of music. And that is the new feature where you can use your gestures right here to go forward or backwards with songs. So if you want to go to the previous song, you swipe to the right, swipe over to the left to go to the next song. So, you can do that with the little nav bar down there, the little now playing bar, or when you go into the full now playing view right here in music, you can just swipe right here to go forwards or backwards from the text down here, or just from up top. And speaking of swiping gestures, also with iOS 26.1, and we just saw this in the fourth beta, is that we now have the ability to disable the swipe over to go to camera gesture. So, you can see that when I'm swiping over here from the right-hand side, we do not pull up the camera like we used to be able to do for a long time. But some people didn't like that we had, you know, that we had that option to do that. So if you go into the camera settings here and you scroll down near the bottom, we have this new toggle that says lock screen swipe to open camera. So that is now an option. So if you have that on by default, that will allow you to swipe over to go into camera. That is on by default, by the way, of course, because that is the expected, you know, gesture that everybody's been used to for a while. But you can now turn that off, which is nice. Apple has gradually fixed more and more bugs, which is definitely very welcome. And I also hope that the battery life will improve for all of you in the long run. For me, it's definitely fine with the current beta version, but of course there's more to it. And with that, we have reached the end of this video about an important new feature in iOS 26.1 RC or release candidate, and I hope I was able to give you a good overview here. If so, please give it a thumbs up. If you have discovered any other new features, 
please let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more similar videos, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care.